Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. Hi, Fa <laughs> Hi, Faley. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. What are we doing today? Taking graduation pictures. That's right. We're here at the campus of the school. It is closed right now because it is a holiday. We're doing this on Thanksgiving. We thought that would be the perfect day to come here so that we could walk around, take the pictures we need without having to wear masks and do all those other fun things. Basically, not get yelled at, yeah. which was kind of key, right? You're graduating here soon. It's going to be virtual. We're here today to take a bunch of pictures. I have my Canon 5D and a backpack full of lenses. So. You can't really turn. Uh, they're right there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Are you excited? Kind of. Yeah, it's an excited, it's, sad thing. Yeah. Show us your... Uh, I'm psyched to be over with this BS. What is it supposed to mean? Psyched. I'm a psych major and then BS stands for Bachelors of Science. So you or whatever you want it to be. Oh, you're so dirty. Dirty girl. Dirty girl. Our mascot is a bull, so. Speaking of bull, here's a nice picture of Haley. Yeah. <laughs> it's good luck. Good luck. We're going to be here to take some pictures, which I'm going to pop up throughout the video, but I thought this would be a good time to just kind of talk about the school, what it means to, to be here and be at this point. One of the first videos I think we filmed for, I don't know if it went into this channel, if it went into the Five Star channel, was you moving into... Yeah, that was like our second or third video. Was it of the channel? Mm -hmm. Wow, we've been so we've been doing this for what, three and a half years? The first video was Mary Margaret graduating, my cousin from here, and then our second or third video was me moving in. Let's walk over to the dorm and we'll kind of talk about it because we took a lot of care in that portion of the show never to really film the outside of it so that you know because we were obviously worried about safety and all that other fun stuff because you know this is the internet. Not saying anything bad ever happens on the internet but never. Never. The one thing I miss about wearing cargo pants is that like you had all these pockets but of course you can't wear cargo pants anymore because dad if you wear cargo pants. I mean you're just a dad that's given up in life and that's why you wear cargo pants. These two girls would never let me do that. Not true. Ones to throw out the cargo pants even though you guys always gave me all your crap to put in my cargo pants. Look at that bro. So we brought the 5D 24 to 70 f2.8 100 millimeter macro 50 millimeter 1.2 70 to 200, 28. We got our big flash. And of course you gotta have your little white piece. Wanted to make sure I had everything for this shoot. Put the effort, man, maximum effort. Ugh. Dorm, funny. It kind of gives like these guys an unrealistic expectation of life. The campus is located in St. Petersburg by the water. There's million dollar yachts parked right over there. And there's million dollar condos right across the street from her dorm here. So they would look out their window into these people that have these million dollar dorms. Sorry. You okay? It's been attacked. Bye. Skate up. You're nuts. Do you miss dorm life? Yeah. Was it fun? It was really fun. It was fun once I moved in with people that I actually enjoyed. So My first best friend Clarissa. Yeah, first year was kind of rough. A lot of girl drama. Yeah, not with me. No, my three roommates, yeah. They were oh big cuckoo. Oh my cuckoo. gosh, we had to get people, like staff involved, it was. But the nice thing was, is each one of you had your own room, you had a common yeah. kitchen, but you could just shut your door and be like, SpongeBob, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Same <laughs> I could dip. One of the things that you did on year two was you got a job. I got a job all by myself. I didn't tell my parents I was doing it. I just went and I did it. Which made things real easy because she lived here and she worked here. <laughs> so what did you do here? Literally nothing. I did my homework. This is where I sat for four hours, three days a week. It was basically the hangout spot. Friends and buddies would come and yeah, just chill out over there. If they sat right there in that chair across from the desk, I would get yelled at. Really? Yeah. Why? Because it makes me look unapproachable. <laughs> we are unapproachable. Your face kind of does yeah, that. Yeah, it's not like I need my friends to help me with that. Yeah. All right, so you had extra stuff you had to do here too. It wasn't just all like sitting there doing homework. You. What did you? I, I got involved. Explain to me what that means. Like Every job. year during finals week, we would have a study. It was study, study week. Center, study week, and our job at because we didn't do anything and we sat at a desk all day. 
we had to come up with a theme for this whole study week. So my second semester, I proposed a Disney theme and I won. So we turned the whole campus into Disney basically. And every event that we did was basically Disney themed. So what we, were some of the events? We gave Disney themed snacks, like popcorn and pretzels. Oh, I also designed the shirt which got copyrighted and now looks ugly, but. <laughs> um, the school didn't want to get sued for a Disney castle. I mean, uh, go figure. What are the odds of that? <laughs> we made stuffed animals with little Aladdin themed Did you, shirts. Was one of them, wasn't one of them breakfast at night or something like that? Oh, late night breakfast was a every year event that we did. We did Disney trivia. There you go. Disney yeah, trivia. And then you had giveaways and stuff like that. Yeah. For our Disney trivia, if you won, you got like a Funko Pop, like a Disney themed Funko Pop. Cool stuff like that. A waffle iron. It was fun. Didn't you have like, um, on another time, did you have like a uh, tie dye day or something like that? We also had to do our own scheduled events, like our personal events, along with this whole school thing. I did a pizza and tie dye. Yeah, it was, was it pizza and yeah. tie dye? Yeah. Pizza and tie-dye. I wasn't there, but I, I know. Two. Yeah, well, you had one year and you had the second year. You learned how to be real thrifty. No, I did. No, this is what I did. I okay. did pizza and painting my first year. Oh, That right. was solid. Right, because you, you had to be real thrifty as far as like yeah. affording the brushes, the paint, yeah. the pizza. My second semester, that was when I did tie-dye, which was a total flop because the day I did it, it was raining. And we had to do it outside. Did you do it out here on this patio? Yeah. The only people that showed up were my friends. That's what friends are for. I know. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I mean, when you painted, there was a lot of your friends who showed up, yeah, right? Yeah, but a lot. Okay, so I mean, my free school pizza, is known bro. for like graphic design, and a lot of those students came and did some really cool stuff. Yeah, well, you did some I really. I have pictures cool. of it. Do you? You can insert them. Wow. Well, if she sends them to me, I will insert them. And if she doesn't insert, if I don't insert them, that means that she took no part whatsoever in the Sorry. editing of this video. <laughs> kind of par for the course. Scott. His name is Rocky D. Bowl. He's got D balls too. They're hanging. <laughs> They're big old balls. Yeah. There's two sources of good luck that come from this campus. One is rubbing the balls, <laughs> and the second one is jumping in the fountain. What is behind us? The reef, what is AKA it? the cafeteria. I mean, if you want to call it that. How many hours did you spend in this place? Too many. So <laughs> Too it's, many. what is it? Like a cafeteria, social gathering place, uh, first year Clarissa's this, apartment was up yeah. top. This holds another dorm area, the cafeteria, a Starbucks, a little nook area if you want like a quiet area. There's a patio in the back. So it's kind of like the meeting ground where everyone just said, meet you at the reef. How was the food? Awful. All of it? All the time? It was always awful? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't even make chicken tenders right. Like they did, but they were gross. Mainly I got chicken tenders, salads, and even the salad bowl was crappy. I learned what a chicken Philly was. I got that a lot. Oh, and I also made them make me buffalo chicken wraps. And I ate a lot of sandwiches. Not very healthy. I think that's what college is all about, and though. And I also ate a lot of double fried french fries. Double fried french fries? You have to make them. How do you never double told me about double fried french fries? Of course I made it up. <laughs> what is a double fried french fry? You just make them fry it twice. You wait the extra 10 minutes to fry them twice because I don't know what's wrong with our fryers, but they were always like soggy and gross. You would make the cook double fry them and they would be so crispy and uh, delicious. Who knew? I don't know. All right. Leave it to Clarissa. Leave it to Clarissa. <laughs> Are 
these are the boats. So this is this is their backyard, basically. This is what they have to look at. So, so hold on. I'll hold on. put it in. Come this way and shoot that. So that building was the old Salvador Dali Museum that they ended up giving to our campus because they made a newer, way better one. And they turned that into the graphic design like building. I had classes in there. I don't know why. I was gonna say but graphic design. <laughs> it was the farthest walk ever, but it had a good view. It was nice, but it also sucked. And also me and my friend, Clarissa, we could rent bikes here. We would just ride along the seawall. Because on the other side of this building is where you rent the bike. So we would just ride and then we'd go downtown St. Pete. And then she had rollerblades and I ran. So we would run and rollerblade together a lot. A lot. Not really a lot. I know, that's why I said a lot. <laughs> it's probably like two days a week, if that. That's a lot, actually, for you. Yeah. I was going to say, come on now. It was impressive. It was impressive. <laughs> practice field, the Rowdy, Tampa Bay Rowdies play here, well practice here. Their stadiums are right over there, but this was where I played soccer and flag football. Oh, that's right, you played flag football. And over there, right there, you can see a little basketball hoop. That is where I played field hockey. I'm very versatile. Oh. The most fun I had was playing soccer. Naturally. Isn't that getting ready um, to start up again? Yeah, well, January. Okay, Close so I was gonna say. <laughs> well, I was I mean, you told have... January, I mean, December 15th, and then moved to January, so. At least fun. you're gonna get to play. Yeah. I mean, you haven't played in a yeah. year. My second favorite sport to play was flag football. I found out that I'm a very good blocker. I know you can. But I can block the big guys. They were honestly impressed. Ooh. Big, big blocker over Real here. Hockey was not that fun for me. No, the only not? game we went, we won, was which makes me look bad, but I don't even care. I think the only game we won was when I went to the kids' concert. <laughs> oh, so when you didn't play, they won. <laughs> yeah, but I also think because there was only two teams in the league, us and another team, and I think for the finals, we played two games in the other team. They were all hockey players, so we didn't have a chance. They all were from New York and play hockey. <laughs> and we were beginners. And we got fouled a lot because we would pull the stick up above our knee and that's like illegal, I guess. Details. Ooh, taking a shot. Whatever. They were in first place, obviously. So we played our first game and I think in the championship, we won that game. So we had to play the second game and then we ended up losing. Just, Still got a shirt though. It's all about the sportsmanship and playing the game though, right? As they say, when one door closes, another door opens, or the book and chapter, I don't know, all those things. A sad goodbye, but a happy what's to come. Is that about right? I mean, yeah. I'm throwing stuff out there to, because you know, you talk so much. No, I don't. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We just thought this would be nice since we're out here, kind of a little piece of what happened over the last three and a half years. That's right, three and a half. Yeah, I was like. You're, you're getting done early. I know, that's so why I was like, it seems like a short amount of time. It is a short amount of time. It's done, it's over, good times. December 12th. Yeah, awesome. All right, well we've rambled on long enough. Haley. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I always wanna say thanks for watching. I mean, you can say thanks for watching, I but I mean, you know, thanks for watching as always, guys. You have a wonderful night and a great day, and we will see you later next time. Go Bulls! Bye! Bye. So you actually had other stuff you had to oh do. Oh my god, I thought this was my coworkers. What?
are the odds. This would stop That was so cold. My feet, they're freezing and dirty. No towel. Ah. Uh, <laughs>